This is a stormbreaker that I made out of cardboard and and a real plan. I'm rude. You don't believe me? Watch this video until the end. This is Make It Cheap. I have a template here that I made myself. Uh, you can use this template if you want. But the template isn't that perfect. You will see what I mean later. I need to cut the template apart so it's easier to duplicate it on the cardboard. Uh, you can see the text on the template that tells you how many parts you need to make. Let's work on the body of the axe. This is how I duplicate the template on the cardboard. Hold each point of the template with pin, then connect all points with lines like this. But you need to draw the template that has curve like this one. After duplicating the template, now cut all of it with utility knife. Oh look! I made a Coca-Cola Iron Man helmet. Check it out! We have all the parts. Now let's assemble it. On this part, uh, you need to make a line in the center of it. And then glue it like this. This is the main structure of the back of the axe. Make lines on this part as well, so we can glue it exactly in the center. Okay, now just glue the other parts. I will show you each template when I'm gluing the parts. We need a small piece of cardboard about 2 cm or more, glue it and put this part on top of it. And glue all these small parts around it. On this side of the axe, uh, you can make any variation. I just make circle like this and I will add cotton twine later. On this side, uh, we need to cut the cardboard a bit like this. Alright, this is the back of the axe and now let's work on the front of it. We need to bend these parts first before assembling it. If you make cardboard craft like this, um, hot glue is the best way to assembling parts. But you can use super glue instead if you don't have hot glue gun like this. To make the bit look sharp, I need to glue it with super glue, just like this. You need two of these square parts if you have a thick cardboard, but mine is thin so I need to double the square. Before gluing the back part on the square part, I need to add some cardboards like this, about 3cm.
Alright, now let's work on the details part. We need some of these parts on cardboard and some of these parts on cereal box or carton. To glue these parts, uh, you can score the cardboard a little bit on the curve. And make sure the tilt side is glued on the cereal paper. Um, you can cut the cardboard if it exceeds the part. Now we can glue it on the axe. As I said, my template is not perfect, just like this, uh, the part isn't fit, so I need to make the new one. You can make sharp triangle like this on this detail. From this point, uh, most of the parts aren't fit perfectly, so I need to make adjustments or even remake the parts, but that's alright, this is the art of crafting, nothing is fixed, so we can use our creativity. On this part, I add two more smaller layers to make some kind of terrace texture like this. Okay, the front axe is done. Ah, I did it upside down. Let's get back to the back side of the axe. We need to cover the gap on this side, and I didn't make template for this because the size of it depends on how big the gap is. Just watch how I'm doing it and you'll understand how. I make circles with cotton twine like this for some kind of variations, you don't have to follow this. And I make random patterns with hot glue to fill the circle. You can use hot glue to fill the gaps on the body of the axe. And I also use sawdust and wood glue mixture. Mostly people use wood filler, but this is the only thing I get at home.
Glue the front axe on the square part like this. I need to cut the squares about 1cm each side because I think it's too wide. And I also cut the corners. I have this flagpole for the half and the length is about 130cm. Make a roll of cardboard around the pole and glue both axe parts like this. I add another piece of cardboard on this side to make sure the axe is not shaky. After the gaps filler perfectly dry, uh, we can sand it a little bit. And let's move on. Actually, you can use the filler on this side of the cardboard as well. But I will cover it with tape to make it quick. It's not noticeable though. And I almost forgot about this little thing. Just make 5 pieces, stack them together, and glue on the bottom of the axe. Okay, it almost looks similar with the model that I got on Google. For the first primary color, I use white spray paint. I use spray paint especially for the detailed part and also the area that can't be reached by brush. Now I add grey wall paint on the other part to make the color darker. Just do it slowly and enjoy the process. After the primary color is dry, uh, now we can apply the silver paint. Okay, the coloring is done, now we can glue the axe onto the flagpole. Okay, now I'm in my backyard. Um, as you can see, it's all forest. What a beautiful world to live, isn't it? So I'm looking for the Groot element, you know, for the haft, haft, um, yeah, something like that. And I'm going to use that papaya stem. I don't know if it's going to do the trick, but we'll see. You know you can make an instrument with this stem. You need to cut this like that. And then you can blow it like this. I need to soak the stems in a hot water first so it's easy to bend it. Add the stem one by one and glue it with hot glue. And you can also use rubber to bind it on the pole. You can add small pieces of stem to cover the gaps and make it look braided. Now cut the big stems into a hull. Then glue them on the pole. I 
I also need to bind it to make it stay still. I need to cover the whole stem surface with wood glue to make them stick stronger on the axe. While waiting for the glue to dry, uh, we can do the finishing for the axe. I add shoe polish on the axe to make it look darker and metallic look. If you want, you can also add details line like this. Okay, the glue is dry, let's apply the primary. I use darker color because later I will add wood stain, so it has wooden looks. Okay, this is it, DIY Storm Breaker by The Infinite Project. Uh, you don't have to use papaya stems like me, obviously. I just want to do something different, you know. And I just watched the new Thor movie, you know, Thor Love and Thunder. And it was so cool, I can't blink my eye, really. It's awesome. So even though there are two Thor's weapon, Mjolnir and also the Stormbreaker, but both still my favorite weapon. Um, what is yours? Let me know in the comment down below. I hope you like this video and if you do, please leave a like, consider to subscribe if you are a new viewer, and I will see you on the next episode of Make It Chip. Thank you. That trick works. <laughs>